and let your hands float up, palms up, float up to about heart height. A little bit knees down. Yeah, you're standing with your feet about shoulder width apart, really well grounded with your knees unlocked. And you really are focusing on keeping yourself vertical. You're not leaning forward. Good. So you're rock, letting your arms go up and down and you are finding the tension in your upper body and to the best of your ability, relaxing. Find the tension in your fingers, let it go. Find the tension in your shoulders, let it go. Just It's like you're just moving your hands through warm honey or something like that. It's a little better. Good. And now you're also involving the feet. So when your arms go up, you're just barely up on your toes. And when you turn your hands over, you put your feet flat and then as your hands go past your hips, you pull up your big toe. So, and you're and rocking. My, and my other toes. And your other toes, but you don't have to go back on your heels. So you're rocking as you're, you kind of dip, go um, bend your knees. And as you're going up on your toes, you're straightening your legs. And then as you're going down, you're bending your knees again and pulling your uh, toes up. A little bit, which feels like that. Yeah, yeah. And then we're supposed to? Well, until you learn how to do this and get your balance. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Of the other moves, the feet, the foot moves, and leg moves are all the same. So we're going to go over those first. You put one foot out doesn't matter which one. I like to start with my right. And we're rocking back and forth as we're moving our hands in different ways. So when we rock forward, our weight is on our front foot and off of the heel of the back. When we rock back, opposite of that. Our weight's on the back foot and our toes are coming up. And in all cases, we stay vertical we don't lean forward, and we keep our knees bent, so it's good for your legs. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Around the platter is the next move. So what we're doing is we're imagining we have a platter um, strapped in front of us, and we're very lightly and gently running our fingers around the platter as we rock back and forth. When we do around the platter and some of the other ones, the direction we're moving our hands is we're going toward the toes that are in front. So it's not clockwise or counterclockwise, it depends on what foot's out in front. And again, with all of these, you want to find where you're holding and relax. It's the opposite of like aerobic exercise or isometric or anything where you're using your muscles. You're trying to just relax. So that's around the platter. Let me just show you around the platter on the other side. You bring your foot back on the other side. Put your left foot out and you go toward the toe that's out. So around the platter on the left looks the same as on the right except you're going the other direction. Okay, now let's practice it, right? Bass drum. Bass drum. We're imagining we have a bass drum strapped on our chest, right? Same foot position. So we've got our fingers around the bass drum as we rock forward. We're just running our fingertips around the bass drum. We're staying vertical, we're relaxing. Nine times. Nine times. Now, what I like to do, these are in pairs, they're listed in pairs. What I like to do is 
So we're pairing bass drum and around the platter. So I go around the platter nine times, which I'm not going to show you. Hmm. And then when I get to nine, I'm going a little fast. We right. pause, we don't shift our feet, and then we go into bass drum. Okay, is it dipping down or is it dipping around the way you're doing it, I assume? Yeah, I think I did it wrong last time. It yeah. should be down and up. Gotcha. And then when we're done with nine of those, we pull our foot back, we reground, we put our other foot out, we do around the platter again. And then we do bass drum again. Yeah, no problem. Easy. So yeah. I've, that's why I've got these listed in pairs when you yeah. come back. I like them. These are the daughters? These are the daughters. Foot position is the same. Okay. So we're rocking. Daughter on the mountaintop. Your right hand is always the farthest away from you. So we're scooping up energy, bringing it to the mountaintop. Daughter on the mountaintop. And then we do nine of those. Then we pause. Daughter in the valley is like splashing water in your face. You got it? Mm-hmm. And you do the other side? Yeah, and we do the other side. We bring our foot back, our hands back, we reground. Daughter on the mountaintop. Right hand is in front. Yeah, it doesn't it, it's in front regardless of which foot's out. Okay. <clears throat> well, in front being the farthest away from you. Right. Daughter in the valley. This is so good for kind of helping you really get grounded and finding your balance. Daughter in the valley. And then we come back and we ground. Pulling in the energy. Pulling in the energy. Same foot position. It's as if um, it's just like round the platter, except we're running the backs of our hands. And the intention is, with our palms up, we're pulling in the energy from the farthest star. Pulling in the energy into our hands from the farthest star. So we're going around. last one is called push pull which I think is pretty cool we're pushing out yep. we're pulling in so it's like you're stretching your heart opening letting in love letting out love it's not what just Miss Johnny would say it doesn't work that way other side same old same old do you do, you do these in combo this, I do these in combo like daughter. Okay, so you do nine and then nine. Yeah, nine and nine and then switch feet. Okay. So, again, pulling in the energy. Nine of those on that same foot and then nine of the pulling in. Yeah, so let's say this is eight. Okay. This is nine, which it isn't. And then on without changing feet, we're pulling in the energy. Or, uh, push pull. Good, push pull. Nine of these. Charming. I'm listening for Carlos. And then when you're done, you ground. Okay. You got it?